Alright guys, so always look back at your older videos. I know that you constantly feel like a lot of the shit you said in the past was stupid. Then maybe. I've said a lot of stupid shit in the past. Especially my older videos on YouTube. But I, not everything I said was shit. You have to understand what's shit and what's not shit. I mean, my videos were boring back then. They're still boring. I know I'm not supposed to say that I'm bored or anything. I'm not bored when I look at my videos, but I can understand that basically even the biggest YouTube nerd will find my videos um, not very good in terms of giving revelations and shit like that. I didn't make YouTube videos to teach other people. I made YouTube videos to learn. To become a smarter, wiser person. So I always look back at my older videos. I always look at my weaknesses. A lot of guys in like professional sports do that too. Maybe they were in the finals and they were about to win the series and then you know, they fucking lost. They blew it. They made a mistake and that cost them the game. But they look back at the video. They build up the courage to look at back at their videos. There's so many videos I've made that. Well, some I do like a lot of videos I basically feel like the rest and I don't delete them because I have to muster up the courage to look at them. I'm constantly searching for truth and sometimes when I search for truth I try to find the building block, the god particle of politics, the god particle of personal, personal lives and various sort of things and I forget to realize you know that's all appealing and all but it's not worth it and sometimes it just distorts the message and creates mental masturbation maybe anti-statism isn't the a priori truth you can have an okay society and still have a state I've interviewed tons of people back in my JTV days that lived in failed states like Somalia, and then they moved to places like Yemen, and they hate it there. It's not Yemen's not a failed state, I think, but it still sucks. It still sucks for them. And I know that anti-statism isn't just a single variable. It isn't like the only variable, basically, to a good society. There's a lot of logical things with that. They have people that are patriots that live in a nice little state that came from the remains of a failed totalitarian society and they love it there they believe that everybody should be a patriot of their own nation I've interviewed people like that before in my JTV days before I basically turned my JTV into a pointless idiot blog basically I make these videos to learn not to teach people I don't talk about politics as I'm preaching and teaching. I make that's why I never label my videos educational. It's news and politics. I'm basically going out there and learning. You know what? I'll never make a political video more insightful than an Arini video or a fringe elements video. Hell, I'm not gonna make one that's even more enlightening than a brain police video. And that says a lot about me. A lot of stuff I wouldn't want to admit. Maybe that I'm an ass clown. Although, some people say that I kind of look like Brain Police's little brother. I'm even a guitarist and a pseudo intellectual that still lives with his parents. Yeah, I'm 17 and all, but still. Well, no offense to him, though. I bet he's a nice guy in real life. I'm just being an asshole. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Go back, watch your older videos. Watch your videos from two years ago, especially if you have like 200 plus videos like me. So that you can see the shit you hate. Don't delete it. Watch it over and over again. All the videos that give you nightmares to this day, watch that shit again and again and again. Alright. Hmm. 
when it gets really light, you get to see more of my scalp. I don't know why, I think my hairline's getting messed up all of a sudden, and stress has been killing my hair. That's not attractive, isn't it? To have a reverse mohawk, and it's like old school hairstyle, I, I don't like it. I'm probably going to get a braid soon. Peace out, guys. I'm